an income opportunity unexpected. My neighbor says he's tired of going out and getting stuff to eat every night. So if I can learn how to cook, he's going to pay me. So today I might make an easy $10 because somebody's giving me black eyed peas and cabbage for New Year's. There's a meaning behind that. It's supposed to mean prosperity. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Okay, it would be nice. But I guess I have to learn how to cook to make some money. I don't mind. I'm up for the challenge. I'm just going to try to make it easy with my steam cooker. Happy New Year's, Lee. Have you ever done this? You put something where it's not supposed to be and you make yourself crazy trying to find it. Like putting milk in the cabinet or putting spaghetti down under. I've been looking for my towelettes, you know, to wipe my face and arms. It's been about 45 minutes <laughs> off and on. Then I gave up looking for a snack. Look what I find in the ice box. Now where's my mind? Then I'm going to put these towelettes in the ice box. Oh boy. See if I can get through the fence. This is what I have to deal with when I'm eating. The correct energetics. I treat this with everything that's coming because I have to give them some every time. Ultimately, you're going to come down to a Chico. You want something? You want a bite? Yourself as to whether it's standard grain. You want a bite, Chico? Just standing in there. I want people just saying, no, we're not going to do this anymore. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. You coming at me from the side, Chico? You're not what you're doing. You're not going to support all this corruption anymore. Anyway. I'll give you a little bit. And the cops didn't really know it. So After I eat, okay, boy? I just left it alone. Because, and some of the word that I've been getting from people is to expect something pretty soon. And leave one alone. He'll kick your ass. Look at that all-time high and I didn't get in in time I'm trying to figure out what that is maybe a better dog kennel I don't know I've never seen one like that dog kennel slash trailer I like it Chico says good morning that's his latest thing is to hang out on the side of my recliner I think he's working me for food. Just for laughs, gags, and Chico. Just for a few minutes. Chico, I ain't got nothing for you to eat, man. Working on drums for the next one. Looks like this will be another boring vlog. Surprise, surprise. Looking to sell stuff out of my garage. No yard work today. Eating kumquats. Tree is loaded. Let's see here. Mm. Bright sunshine. Let's see what we can sell. Chico's after something in here. I think something got into my pool that's way overgrown. <laughs> it's turned into his own ecosystem. They're always chasing stuff in there. Look at him go. Look what they do to my yard. I caught you, Lee.
Chico's always picking like a little brother. And when Lee has enough, he'll swat him down. Oh, Lee. All right. Catch you on the next one. Not sure what it'll be. Well, you know what it'll be. Home and neighborhood. Got my camellia blooming. Big Joe. Okay, let's try to sell some stuff. Enough of this. See you later. Okay, found something in the garage. This probably has historical value, I don't know. You see, people give me stuff all the time. My customers, they let me clean out the garage and they just say, you can have it and I could take the whole stack. Probably make a mortgage payment per year just from junk, but there is time required. Meeting people is a challenge. <laughs> Taking pictures of stuff is no challenge. I can't wait. As soon as I get in there, the stress will be gone. Gone. This is what happens with a lot of rain. The roots can't support the weight of the tree and it just falls over. Even though it's in good shape. Well, it's too dark to see with this camera, but Lee tree to squirrel on this little bitty tree. It's pretty thick. It's about 20 feet tall, and I can't find it, but I heard it. And Lee won't leave. I'm thirsty.